पंकज कुमार मंडल डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बी एस एच पाकुड़ पॉलिटेक्निक पाकुड़ टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक दैट इज एनर्जी लेवल्स दैट इज एनर्जी बैंड्स ऑफ सॉलिड्स In my previous uh, lecture, I have already discussed about the classification of uh, semiconductors and uh, the conductivity also. Now today we will totally discuss about the energy bands. Uh, basically, we in this topic we will discuss about the bands. in a solid semiconductor conductor and insulator also so what do we see that in atom all the electrons are revolving around the nucleus that is the central part of atom in the nucleus proton and neutron exist and we see that that the electrons are orbit or revolving in a fixed particular or uh, orbit that is known as uh, uh, also known as cells when we go far from the nucleus we see that the energy levels is increases but the binding energy of electron goes on decreasing binding energy goes on decreasing and energy level goes on increasing so what according to bohr's atomic spectra uh, i i am talking about the isolated atom that is uh, single atom in a single atom uh, bohr's uh, given an idea that the electrons have a definite and a discrete amount of energy and uh, this energy are corresponding to the different cells and sub cells but uh, when we talk about the solid what we see that uh, we cannot uh, form a solid with a single atom so we have to brought close of all the atoms that means we require large amount of atom in a closed manner that is brought close to each other so if we talk uh, about the solid that is uh, our topic we see that every electrons is under the influence of a force with uh, other electrons that means all the electrons are influenced with each other that means if we take two atom which are uh, close to each other the electron of a first atom exerts a force to the another electron of a second atom similarly all the electrons will do also but uh, the proton of a first atom also 
experience is a force due to this proton of a second atom. So here we see that so large amount of force is uh, acting on a single electron or a single proton. So actually when the energy when we are talking about the energy of a electron in a single isolated atom it is definite and fixed but uh, when we talk about the solid the large amount of force acting on the electrons due to this their energy gets redistributed obviously I am talking about the solid in which uh, the atoms are very close to each other actually the energy levels and th that is the modification of energy levels is uh, on the last orbit but there is no energy redistribution of energy which is uh, the which is the uh, nucleus uh, which is close to the nucleus actually the modification of energy levels is more in the outer cell of atom so for uh, simplicity uh, we take uh, a crystal of a uh, silicon so before uh, discussing about the energy bands of solid let us draw a diagram to stand to st uh, understand in a simple way so let's draw the diagram of energy bands of solid so this is the diagram of uh, energy bands of uh, solids in which uh, uh, we have uh, divided the whole reason into four parts that is reason a reason b reason c and reason d we are uh, talking about the crystal of uh, a solid obviously of a silicon atom uh, of a electronic configuration of a 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p2 so what we see that that the last orbit has four electrons for a crystal we requires large amount of atoms for solid crystal of a silicon in diagram uh, we have uh, denoted the two circles here here obviously here and also here in the reason a i am talking about the reason a the two sub cells s and p that is i am talking about these two sub cells s and p when when the two atoms are situated at a some distance at a large distance then the influencing force is negligible so the energy of a electron is definite and fixed but when we decreasing goes on decreasing the space between the two atom that is uh, we have to study the solid 
so when we goes on we, when we go on decreasing the space between the two atom what we see that the energy is get redistributed redistributed if when we talk about the isolated atom isolated atom that there is their energy is fixed the straight line represent the fixed energy of uh, the subset but uh, when we uh, come closer to each other when we get closer to each other when the space between uh, the two atom are uh, decreasing then their energy also redistributed they start redistributed i am talking about the last orbit last cell because the modification major modification is takes place on the last orbit of an atom so the energy is get started redistributed some of the energy of electron is increasing and some of the energy of electron gets decreasing so the increasing and decreasing is uh, based on the conservation of energy here the two subsets uh, s and p both uh, the subsets the electrons of a subsets you see that uh, one electron is equal, uh, goes on increasing its energy and one electron's energy goes on decreasing and uh, this is the reason where we find that the electron the energy of electron of a p subset is equal to the energy of a s subset but uh, we have to study the solid so we have to decrease the space between the two atoms and we are continuously decreasing the space between the two atom and again we say see that in a reason we uh, see also the energy gets redistributed and redistributed again now we come to a point where we find the crystal atom crystal solid that is a silicon solid silicon crystal that is, there is no space that means a space between the two atom is uh, quite less so here we see that the energy bands that is the energy levels is divided into two parts that is the lower band that is this one and this one but uh, that uh, in between the upper band and uh, lower band we see that no electron is present in this uh, region and we see that here that is the s subset the total electron is 2 2 and in p subset the total electron present is 2 when uh, we talk about the uh, crystal so it requires uh, n atoms so we can write over there total number of silicon atom is equal to n that is n amount of uh, atom we require for the crystal of a silicon so what we see that if a, a single atom have four valence electron one atom so the total number of uh, valence electron in n silicon atom is equal to total number of valence electron in n silicon atom is equal to 4n that is the 4n valence electron of a crystal now the total energy 
states in n seven atom is equal to eight n. This eight n is equal to the number of uh, state occupied by the s subset. That is from two from s subset and it is from six from p subset. So two plus uh, two plus six is equal to eight for single atom. When we talk about the n silicon atom, so it will become eight n. So this is the total energy state is equal to eight n. And the total number of a valence electron is equal to four n. So what we see that four n state is available in a lower band, but only four electron is present. Only four n electrons are present over there, and in upper band, four n state is available. And zero electron is present. That means it is totally empty. It may be totally empty. It may be partially filled. So what we see that in between these two bands, the hole is uh, divided into two bands: upper band and lower band. And these bands are separated by a distance. That is denoted by E G, and it is known as energy gap. Energy, energy gap is denoted by E G. So, what is E G? Is a forbidden gap. It's also its a name is also forbidden gap. Energy gap is denoted by E G. So, E G is what? E G is a separation between upper band and lower band. And uh, lower band is also known as uh, valence band. It is known as valence band. And upper band is known as conduction band. Conduction band. In valence band, in uh, valence band, valence electron are present, and in conduction band, conduction electrons are present. So these uh, are the things. the two sub cells when we are talking about the two sub cells which are in the silicon atom and i am talking about the two sub cell that is the last orbit and that means here we see that the 4n state is available in the upper band and 4n state is available in the lower band so Thanks for be a part of our lecture. Have a nice day.